A short video of some pictures of the stonework repairs carried out from May 2017 to July 2019. A typical window surround. This one shows one on the north side. It shows very serious structural decay all round. The enlargement shows where a chunk came off in my hand while pointing out the deterioration to a visitor. Architect Graham Beamish's picture showing condition of old window arches. When the scaffolding was erected in May, it was found with some shock that all these essential arches needed complete replacement rather than further repair. This picture was sent urgently to diocese for faculty revision for permission to source and order new harder matching stone. The costs of the various window parts, from hood apex at the top, vertical jams and the sills across the bottom. One complete surround is nearly £18,000. An old set of arch stones has been removed from over the window tracery, revealing infill brick construction of the original wall. The Emrys Jones window with its old arch removed. The temporary props supporting the wall above indicate how essential these arches are to the structure of the building. The Emrys Jones window from the inside. Note the small gap at the top where the exterior arch has been removed and cleared away for new replacement. A void above a south transept window where decayed stone has been removed to make way for new replacements. The first new stone delivery arriving in October 2017, with our friendly stonemasons Stuart and Stephen directing. Parapet work in progress on the south side. The temporary white filler wall contains the liquid mortar poured in from above until it is set. A new cross replaces one missing from the Lady Chapel South Transept Gable. It was redundant from a dismantled Birmingham church. The first new window arch and hood stones laid out for the dedication in November 2017. Rector Adrian Guthrie dedicates the first set of arch stones in the presence of Ulster's mayor and several donors. Architect Graham Beamish is explaining to visitors where and how the new arches will fit. Stone and cement rubble gathered from old repairs. The lumps on the larger piece were to retain it to the old stone behind.
a new surround in course of assembly. New jams have been inserted each side and the first arch section has been fitted, leaving a gap of just two millimetres from the next to be filled with liquid mortar. A piece of medieval painted stone discovered where old stone has been removed, used as backfill when these windows were built in 1730. It could be from a medieval south entrance porch, referred to in the builder's instructions, to be removed to make each new nave side identical in every way. Another bigger section of a medieval door jamb, salvaged and saved for future display. Stephen Fear is carefully hand carving the finish around the Emrys Jones window. With traditional tools, he is smoothing out the joins of the machine cut sections as delivered. A completed new arch over the Emrys Jones window, one of five on the south side, ready to be revealed by scaffolding removal. The lead smiths making a new rainwater hopper for the transept corner. Scaffolding erected on the north side in 2018 for the second phase of the project. As well as the windows, the north side required several repairs to its buttresses and some repairs to the Victorian window tracery. The finished north side, scaffolding removed and ready for completion celebrations. A before and after picture showing the quality of the new work. In a few places, old stone if sound has been left for comparison of the conservation work. A summary of the project funding. The crucial work on the nave windows caused further identified but less essential work to be postponed for future attention. Thank you for watching.